Video 17 is the reference pod. When I painted this watercolor portrait of my daughter, I used a reference photo, so let's click here. I went to the part of my hard drive that has her pictures in it, and I chose one. Now if you click on this, you'll see that it comes in here too. Now when you're doing your reference picture, you can have the corner and you'll see a double-sided arrow. You can make it larger or go back. You can also rotate it if you see the curved arrow on the edge and rotate it however you want. Sometimes when you're painting a portrait, it's good to have it upside down especially if something's not working so that you can just paint the colors. Then you can make it bigger. And of course you would flip your canvas to the same way. Let's go into here and I can set to normal size and rotation. And when I go over here again, this is the zoom. And if I go up, it goes closer, zooms in. If my thing comes down, meaning my cursor, it goes back to normal. Now if I go up and use the Move tool, I can move it anywhere I want so that I can get an up-close picture of what I need. If I'm working on the nose, the mouth, I can actually see it. Now another thing when you're in here is you can hide this reference or you can use the eye. That's the quickest way. And you can make this into a tracing image. Let's do that. And you'll see the tracing is behind this. Let's go into tracing now and clear the tracing image so you can see this better. And you can remove this reference, which means you'll have to go back in and load it. Now you can also load other references. Let's say you might have a background you really like. Or even another picture with your daughter in it and her husband. And then you can get a closer view of what your daughter looks like, maybe from a different angle. But you can always, and you'll see that they're both in here now, and they each have their own eye and their own menu. So I can remove this reference and just go back to this one. And again, you can do it from here also. And on the new, you can go in and find a new one. and maybe take the background off of this and put it behind her. It's up to you how many references you put on. Uh, that's part of being an artist, is taking a little bit of this and a little bit of that and making your own creation be better than your pictures that you have from your camera. That's it for all the videos on Art Rage. We've covered all the pods and all the panels and I hope you've enjoyed this video series, and thank you for watching.